everyone and welcome to this Friday's woman to woman video. So today's topic is something that I'm not sure what I'm going to call yet because it's kind of got a lot in it. But a couple of people had asked me to do this and then something happened that made me think yes I really need to do this. And a couple of people wanted me to talk about the kind of balance between using beauty products and using makeup and things like that to kind of better yourself and to make yourself look nicer um, but also accepting your natural self. And I think it's such a fascinating, fascinating topic because it does kind of seem that accepting yourself and then using beauty products is a little bit hypocritical. And a few people had that kind of reaction when I did the video recently about the slimming um, figure hugger um, dress. And a few people had a kind of... Um, a little bit of a bad reaction to it I'd say. Not a bad reaction as such but um, a reaction that I was quite surprised by because people kind of felt like wanting to slim yourself makes you, um, makes it more controversial to then talk about accepting yourself and how can you kind of wear a slimming thing um, to kind of erase your curves and then talk about accepting yourself so it contradicts one another and I, I can see where people would get the idea from but from my perspective I think this is a beauty channel um, it started out as a beauty channel it will always be a beauty channel and that's kind of my main um, subject on this channel this is what we talk about all the time and I've kind of thrown the woman to woman videos in along the way as a nice little addition and for them to be something different I never ever want them to kind of be the focal point of this channel because that's not really what my channel's about my channel is totally about you feeling great about yourself and recommending products and sharing information and things like that but I didn't want it to kind of um, end up being like that and I do somewhat feel like there are people who watch my videos who maybe are kind of like very strong feminists and things like that who watch the woman to woman videos for that reason but don't relate to the beauty aspect of it and don't really get that and that's fine kind of picking what you like but I think people sometimes might forget that this is a beauty channel and if you're going down the road of saying that that is kind of contradicting itself then you could say that about wearing makeup, wearing makeup is false. You could say that about, you know, having curly hair and wearing it straight. As far as I was concerned, wearing a kind of slimming dress is just basically a nice way to kind of create a slightly different silhouette and to feel good. And that is what my channel is all about, you feeling good. Good. If you want to kind of wear no makeup and feel really empowered, then that's amazing. If you want to wear a full face of makeup and that makes you feel empowered, then that's equally amazing. It isn't a case of one or the other for me. And a lot of women um, had said to me on Facebook that they really struggle to kind of find a balance between feeling natural and confident and having to kind of wear makeup to feel confident. And I, it's it's a very difficult thing for me to comment on as well because. I don't wear makeup or dress a certain way necessarily to feel more confident. For, with things like makeup and skincare, for me, it's because I love them. It's like my biggest, biggest passion. I love products. I love talking about them. I love using them. Putting my makeup on every morning is like the highlight of my day. I love it. It's absolutely a huge, huge interest of mine. So that's where it kind of stems for me. But I can see that for other women, maybe you might kind of feel like you're having to sacrifice being natural um, and looking good because a lot of us feel like you need a little bit of help to look your best and that's absolutely fine you know unless you're the world's most perfect supermodel and even then they're not that perfect in reality you will feel like you need a little bit of help you know you can get up in the morning and look in the mirror and think yeah I need a little bit of concealer under there and that's not necessarily you being insecure it's you um, wanting to just make yourself feel a little bit better and wanting to just see yourself in a certain way and I don't think that that makes you a kind of shallow or vain person but a lot of people kind of um, have, as I said, started coming to my channel for the woman to woman videos and don't agree with the other aspects of my channel which is very very difficult for me obviously as the content creator because 
I started it out, like I said, as a beauty channel, and that was what I always, always, always wanted my channel to be. So it's quite disheartening for then people to kind of say, well, you know, if you're, you're trying to erase your curves by wearing a slimming dress, because... I feel like maybe sometimes people kind of can take things in a kind of too politically correct way and see it like that when that really really wasn't the case that wasn't even what I was thinking it was just a case of I always say that nobody is perfect you should know that no one is perfect and you shouldn't aspire to be perfect because there is no such thing but it's okay to want to be as close to perfect as you can. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. And that's, that's what people kind of get a little bit confused by. I feel like sometimes people get annoyed if I ever talk about weight loss and things because they sort of say, but you're slim already. Because I think there's always room for improvement and that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to end up like um, Heidi Montag or somebody like that and kind of become ridden with insecurity and have to have, you know, a million plastic surgery procedures and things like that. But even plastic surgery has that aspect in it. If, you know, you're really, really insecure and you know that having a larger chest is going to make you feel confident, then I don't see anything wrong with doing that. But a lot of people are just... Um, under the impression that you have either or and I don't I don't feel like that and, and it's very difficult for me to kind of explain my point of view across because I honestly have never even seen it that way because to me wanting to look good and looking good is an it's an empowerment it's not it's not kind of because I'm terrified of going outside about what people are going to say about the fact that I've got no makeup on. It's because I love putting makeup on and I know that my face looks so much better with makeup on. So why would I not? It's People just kind of want you to be natural um, in a way and I think sometimes it's because people don't want to admit that we all could need a little bit of help here and there and like I know that without makeup on my eyes for example look 10 times smaller and I want my eyes to look bigger and I want to look like I'm awake and alive and feel good because at the end of the day I have to kind of live my life like that and if something makes me feel confident then that's what I'm going to do I'm not going to kind of let um wanting to look natural come over me feeling confident and I just found it very strange that that was kind of the um, idea that people took from wearing a slimming dress because I just felt like, you know, I said in the video, my, bi my body isn't perfect. But, you know, what's wrong with wearing something that makes your body look as close to perfect as you want it to and then a lot of people kind of felt that it looked better before and that's totally down to personal opinion. Um, but for me personally, I feel like I look better when I'm slimmer. That's my choice, my taste, and that's just how I feel. Now, other people can think that, you know, I maybe look a bit too bony, and other people can think that maybe I look better when I'm a little bit heavier. Other people might think that I would look better even if I shed another three stone. Um, but that's, at the end of the day, that's not important because what's important is you feeling good about how you look and you feeling confident in your looks and your body and wanting to feel good and it, it comes from that thing again where people assume that oh well, you're, if you if you're always searching to be perfect you're a very shallow vain person I've had people say that to me on videos as well and that really really infuriates me because it's not out of shallowness and vain and being vain it's just wanting to feel good about yourself and if you're someone who can just wake up in the morning wash their face and go out then that's amazing for you I'm so so happy for you that you feel like that but I I don't want to I want to make a little bit of an effort with how I look and for me a lot of it kind of stems from that old school um, kind of way of thinking like my grandmother for example who should, will never leave her house without her lipstick on I, I feel like that I like presenting myself in a certain way because I feel like for me it shows self-respect and it shows um, I like to look like I've made an effort and that's not to say that, you know, if you don't, then you don't have any self-respect or anything at all. Don't take it that way. But it's just for me personally, I like to look like I've kind of put a little bit of effort into what I'm wearing and to my makeup and my hair and everything like that. 
um, just because I feel like it makes me feel more put together and I like it. It's a simple case of I like it. And if you're someone who's very natural and kind of wash and go type of girl, and you like that, then that's great for you. That's completely, completely amazing and nobody should judge you for that. It's all down to the individual personal taste. But finding that balance between using makeup and feeling confident is something that's quite hard to achieve and it's something that definitely comes with age. Um, but I feel like I wear makeup more now than I ever did when I was younger, but it's more because of the fact now that I love makeup so much and I'm always testing things and I'm always reviewing things that it be, it's become part of my world kind of thing. Like I'll have new products and they sit in the new products drawer and then I'm putting my makeup on and I get them out because I need to try them. That's just kind of become how I operate and how I work and it's just kind of incorporated its way into my everyday life. I do have days like on a Sunday if I'm not going any, anywhere where I have my hair up in a bun and I wear tracky bottoms and a jumper and no makeup at all and I look like a scary zombie. I look really really pale and tired and just not as attractive as I look when I've got makeup on but I don't care and for those people who kind of would want who want you to say I feel like people think it's the kind of politically correct thing to say like you're just as beautiful without makeup on some people probably really really are but I feel like I just look a little bit better with makeup on and it's not me being you know insecure or anything it's just me stating a fact and the fact is I feel like I look better when I've got a little bit of something on my face and that's fine I don't kind of look at my face and think oh my god look how I look without makeup it's horrible I wish I had makeup I don't I don't care I don't expect to look at my face and look and look made up that's what makeup is for and a lot of men especially have that kind of image where they think that if you wear makeup you're kind of tricking them. I've got a friend who talks like this and it's something that really, really, really drives me insane because he sort of makes out like, well if you wear makeup you're just fake aren't you? And we were kind of having a discussion about it once and I sort of said, excuse me? And he said, well you're just fake, you're kind of faking that that's what you look like and then men will fancy you just because you look like that and then they'll see that you don't look like that. And I just sort of said, well, every man I've ever met has seen me for the first time probably with makeup on, then seen me without makeup on, and they didn't run away screaming because the difference was so immense and they felt tricked. It, it doesn't work like that. People don't see it like that. And I feel like people sometimes have got this misconception about how much time and effort you must put into making yourself a certain way because society has trained you to look and feel a certain way and it really isn't the case. It's just a case of sometimes we just like it. We like putting makeup on and it's fun and it's girly and it's feminine and I like kind of looking well put together. If I'm going out, I want to look well put together. If I'm not going anywhere, I don't care. And it's not because like I'm scared of what people are going to say about me when I go out. It's just because I enjoy it. I enjoy kind of feeling smart. And that's just, that's just my opinion on it. And I don't think wearing makeup or straightening your hair or wearing a slimming dress counteracts being confident. Because that is always the message behind my videos. It's do what works for you and do what makes you feel good. If... Wearing, you know, a full face of makeup and high heels every day for the rest of your life makes you feel good, then great. Do what makes you feel confident. That's just the most important thing that you could possibly do. And a lot of people really feel like they need to, like I said, pick one or the other. And for me, that's really not the case. I don't understand why you would see it in that way. I don't understand why you would have to kind of be a natural beauty or be confident and be confident or wear makeup and kind of be dubbed as you know like you're kind of faking it a little bit because I don't see it that way and I I fully understand that people watch these types of videos for another reason and they might not be interested in beauty and that's fine but people need to remember that I am you like I have a beauty channel that is how I started and that is what my channel is and that's what my channel will remain and just because I like makeup and I want to make myself look the best I can at all times doesn't mean that 
the message that I have across, which is self-acceptance, is going to work in an opposite way. It just, it doesn't work that way for me. And I feel like I, I, I thought I was doing a really good job in having the balance between it being a beauty channel and having a little bit of um, substance in it as well. But it's a little bit sad for me that people are kind of making me pick one or the other, if that makes sense, because that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm going to continue to do how um, to do it how I want to do it, which is to have these types of videos and to have beauty videos because feeling confident and accepting your body um, can come along the lines of people saying, you know, well, if you accepted your body, then you wouldn't feel like you need to lose a little bit of weight. Um, in theory, that's true, but the thing is, you have to look at it from a personal perspective, and the personal perspective of mine is, I don't feel utterly disgusting and humongous, and um, really, really, really insecure about my figure now, but I would like to lose a little bit of weight, and if I can, then why would I not? I don't feel really insecure and hate my hair, but if I just want to wear it straight one day, then why not? I don't feel like I look horrific in a bodycon dress without slimming thing underneath, but I feel like I look a little bit slimmer with it, and I feel better like that, so why not? You don't have to pick one or the other, is what I'm trying to basically say to you. So, I'm going to leave you with those thoughts, because um, this has probably been a really long video already, but those are my thoughts um, on the matter. I really, really believe that you can be confident, and you can still do what makes you feel good, and it doesn't mean that you're shallow and it doesn't mean that you're insecure and if you don't it doesn't mean that you don't care or that you're not interested in your looks or anything like that but I think there's this big taboo on being interested in your looks makes you vain and there is an aspect of vanity to it you know like being a beauty vlogger you are a little bit vain because you deal with beauty things all the time but that doesn't make you shallow and that doesn't make you um a bad role model um, which was what some people had said to me that they felt that like by using things like makeup and straightening my hair I was being a bad role model and I, I don't see it like that I really really don't see it like that and I do want to kind of you know not sound like Oprah but empower women and empower you to feel good about yourself whatever you do and if wearing a slimming dress underneath a tight dress makes you feel good then go ahead and do that and don't let kind of the morality of wearing something like a slimming dress stop you because there is no morality there is no judging it's just what works for you makes you feel better so that is um today's video if you've got any other topics or anything like that, that you'd want me to talk about then definitely put those in the comments below and let me know your thoughts on the matter and i will see you all in my next video bye